experiment. Hopefully it's not a four ghoul experiment, eh? Only two. I actually like this start better. I, I don't like flesh golems. I think they're shit. Um, a rookie anyway. Uh, champs for money starts in October, Skuro. But so there's no money for this one, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, Inari is playing fun. Better fun for one half. Yeah. Um I think definitely the way to You know, you, you want to use a top eight race, obviously, so you can finish in the top two instead of the top one. So using a top eight race is a good idea, um, which is the usual, the usual like that's plus. <laughs> Not only using a top eight gives you more chance to qualify, it also gives you more chance to win the tournament. So if you're good, you should be using one of the top eight races, shouldn't you? Absolutely. Um, and then after that. Um, After that, like a backup, use one of the shit races. Get one of the shit races as a backup, so that um, so that you can uh, you can almost definitely qualify. Houston dwarves, yeah. Elf teams are a good shout. Dwarf teams are a good shout. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. If you want to win something, so. Yeah, that's a very good point, Jam Toast. Plus, you crush the stunties. And there's only... Well, there's going to be two Chaos teams, probably, but only probably one Nurgle team. Potentially only one Nurgle team. But definitely two Chaos teams and two Necro teams. Um, and two Chorf teams, I guess. Nope, not Brett's. Lizards, probably. Lizards. Maybe Zons, yeah. Maybe Lizards or Zons. Because those top eight are probably the ones likely to get the top eight spots. Um, they're, they're probably likely to get the top eight spots, even though Undead haven't got the best chance to win the tournament. They do get really good records throughout the season. So, it's interesting, isn't it? Um, yeah, Skaven. Skaven will be one of the top eight for sure. Yeah, Skaven, Skaven, hundred percent. Skaven, Woody's, Undead. I mean, there's no doubt that those three will be. I think will be the top three of the top eight. Well, the the top eight second places, maybe not the top eight races. <laughs> I don't think Undead are, are the top eight for the playoffs, but I think they will definitely be top eight on the ladder. Should have a look at the uh, Goblin Spy and see what the top races were on the ladder in the previous seasons. I don't know, I think Pro's... And maybe it's because it's about beating bad players, not about being good, isn't it? That's the thing. It's about, it's about winning your games against all the shitters, basically. And uh, Proels will do that with a few skills. But rookie wise, they're a bit crap, aren't they? He's completely abandoned the ball. <laughs> what the... I've got to go for the ball with a loner. What the. Alright, start with this. 
There you go. Oh shit, now the loan is not so good. What about this guy? He can get it with three re with three GFIs. He's completely he's completely abandoned the ball. What is even going on? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. I'm more than a little confused by this play. Maybe that's his experiment. Is just how to completely ignore the ball. That's his experiment. What happens against Wood Elves if you completely ignore the ball? <laughs> he wants to smash like Ram. <laughs> yeah, he does. I mean, I might as well make the first GFI, yeah. And the second. Alright, I wouldn't have re-rolled either of those. But now, I should almost go for it. Well, what about him? Can he still get there? Yeah, he can get there. Just do it with a loan and then I don't care if it fails. Ah, you cunt. <laughs> It's no one cares about the ball Tuesday. <laughs> the four players with the best in-game skill. <laughs> you mean block? Yeah, ball, ball strategy come. Let's see if it pays off. Yeah, so, I mean, if this was my proper team and I had three rerolls, I would have totally gone for the GFI with the catcher and got the ball. But, because I didn't have any rerolls, played a bit suboptimally. Are you are you joking, TLC, about that being the best? About the, uh, about that being the best skill? Or are you just joking? <laughs> Oh, Ducky. No, I'm, I'm playing Woody's in Europa on Fumble. Um, so, just playing some games with Woody's. Um, even though it's not going to translate, obviously, to good, to good things. It's not really going to translate to good opponents, but... Yeah, it is it is good when you get them free, yeah, to be fair. To be fair, Noz is good for free. But you would never, ever, 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 ever take it. Ever. Ever. Ever, 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 ever pick it as a skill. But yeah, for free, it's, it's alright. Ever. Never, ever. Yeah, that's very that's very true as well, Ducky. Yeah. Ever, 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 ever. Right. So dodge with him is pretty safe, isn't it? And blutz him, and then block him. Hopefully, pow him. Yeah, that's alright. Oh, what if I run round here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I guess getting away from the ball is better, isn't it? Oh, baby. Um, should I stall? I guess I should. That's the optimal play, isn't it? Is to stall. At least for a few turns.
Right, I think it's good to stall because I'm at the moment he's only getting one block one block next turn, isn't he? Which is a pretty good pretty strong position really for, for wood elves. I rolled a one. Or maybe I should have dodged away with the guy that was giving up a block. Yeah, that's true, Lemon is good. But. And that's very true as well. VIP, Mr. Yemen Dem. But. I'm trying to make the optimal play for a good opponent, not a shit one. <laughs> you know, no doubt Inarian's plays are optimal against shit opponents. I've got no, no doubt about that. But. I want to try to make optimal plays imagining if the opponent was good. Now, now this turn, giving up blocks and stuff, it's Better to just score, isn't it? Because it probably will get more touchdowns. Than it Yeah, but I don't care about leveling again. I'm just trying to play optimally. Not, I don't want to play like Inari, and I don't want to make loads of passes that I don't need to make to skill players up faster, which obviously there is a payoff for. But I just want to try to win the games because I'm practicing with the L's for Europe. Open. That is true, Gem Toast as well. Yeah. That is true as well. There's certainly a balance to it. It's it's not it's not the proper Euro ball. It's Euro Open, um, just a fumble tournament. So yeah, I'll stream it. Yeah. Yeah, exactly, exactly, Squirrel Dude. Yeah. Now that they buff diving catch, I guess nerves of steel is better for a for a dump off guy, isn't it? Dark elves versus ogres. Ah, uh, I'd probably just put Lyman Lyman on, and then Blodgers wanna Blodgers wanna be get the block on. Snotlings, don't they? Yeah, the Dark Elf Runner is is probably the only player where I'd, I'd think about Nerves of Steel. I mean, I wouldn't think about Nerves of Steel ever, but you know what I mean. Being better than Diving Catch. Because you, I wouldn't take Nerves of Steel on a thrower. Like, Nerves of Steel is, is the catcher's skill, isn't it? So. You can be my wingman any time. It's Shawnee 18. Huge host. Thank you very much, Shawnee 18. If you don't know who Shawnee 18 is, he's a badass. Very much like Lupac. Amazing Blood Bowl player. 
Um, amazing hair. <laughs> He's a badass. <laughs> Right, again he's gone for the not protect the balls at all strategy. Um, it's interesting. It's interesting to say the least, isn't it? <laughs> interesting strategy, Cotton. I guess GFI to hit without block, or... Oh, well, it's GFI anyway, because he's moving 7, yeah. So GFI to hit Bosch, and then he could go to recover. So I just don't want to get the leader in here, but I guess I have to. I guess I don't need to block the werewolf first anyway. Alright then. So you might as well just go for the recovery after hitting then, eh? Oh, shit. No recovery. No, he doesn't go for the recovery after hitting. He goes for the recovery. Don't roll a double one. Or a one there. So you dodge through the wolf tackles or no, that was it there was just it was still eight squares. It was eight squares away, it wouldn't have mattered, uh, lemon is good. Oh, you mean I just wanted to knock over a wolf there before making that move? Yeah, the only reason, I mean, it's the run is fine in, like, in NAF style, where you can, like, but with progression and stuff, and not res, I don't like that. But yeah, you do you do get the reroll quicker, yeah, that's fair. I mean, it is fair, it's not, it's not, um, it's not clearly terrible or anything. Oh, is that a dodge? Ha ha ha, what a dickhead. <laughs> yeah, then, I, I don't hate runners as players. The, the issue is sucking star players, stucking, sucking star player points from your blitzers is the big thing with runners. Um, though it does get you the third reroll faster. Um, and they are fragile. So, yeah. Oh, he's just not putting anyone back. He's like doing a defensive setup on on offense, isn't he? In an off setting, you could just give him dodge and carry it with him. That's what Pete W do. Um, let's see, let's see what Pete W's team is because he's the best. PEW, Dark Fantastic, 1845, winners of the NAF World Cup warm-up tournament, 
He's gone four blitzers, assassin, runner, witch elf, witch elf, three linos. Um, two rerolls, obviously. And what are his current skill choices? Four dodges on the blitzers, a block on a witch elf, and a wrestle on a witch elf. There you go. That's what he has gone with. So that's absolutely fair, isn't it? As you would expect. Six skills. Just make six blodges. But he's still got the uh, runner. Just because he's more useful, isn't he? Like To be fair, I mean, he is, he is better than a lino when you're trying to win games of Blood Bowl, isn't he? But he's armor seven and he's just it's just different in... Is the thing, isn't it? Shadowing stun is a stabbing and he's good, yeah. No, I think it would definitely be Bludge Step, Diamond Tackle. But, um. Yeah, he is pretty bad as a marker, but still, he does his job, doesn't he? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven GFI. So not hard to get a guy in. He's just gonna run forward. Block that guy, block that guy, block that guy, I guess. Because he could push him into the wolf. Punch things. of an elf screen oh baby yeah but skinks aren't really aren't really stunties either that's the thing yeah yeah jump up yeah first jump up stab yeah that's fair enough Stunties have more than MA6. The good ones. It's already started, sort of the morning. My game is tomorrow. <laughs> My game is tomorrow um, at 5 pm CEST. Um, it is just like, you know, a NAF event. Uh, a fumble NAF tournament. So, yeah. It is, it is, already, it is already active, and my game is scheduled for tomorrow. So, um, so I thought I will stream it, yeah, no reason not to. Um, so yeah, I thought, why not, why not play some games with wood elves? Get me into the woody mindset. Well done, fluffy burrito. Yeah, I, I would I would like that personally, Valenic, yeah. Two blitzers and then two assassins, and then just have the assassins like super blitzers. I'd be okay with that. Also I'd be okay with high elves having four blitzers. Because high elves are like the rowdy. You would still wouldn't stab with the assassins, they would just be extra blitzers. 
But um, if anyone should be a, high, a rowdy elf team, it should be uh, it should be high elves, shouldn't it? Really. Now he could block him. He could block him to go through for the ball. Bit risky, but you only live twice. He's got to stay up there as the as the ball sacker. So maybe he's forget that. Maybe he's a one dicer here to open the turn. <laughs> hey, why not? All right, good. Face the ball. I guess he has to go in here and then it's a better push, isn't it? Both down it. Oh, good. Oh, no. Oh, well, good. Yeah, oh, yeah, of course, well, yeah, of course you would, they would lose two catches. And then they would be different from Pro Elves, because Pro Elves would go two, two Super Blitzers and four Super Catches, whereas High Elves would have four Blitzers and two Catches. So, you only live twice, yeah? James Bond, didn't it? You only live twice. Yeah, exactly. They're, assassins are one of the two positionals in the game with a stat line worse than alignment, aren't they? Which is pretty bad. The other one being the, <laughs> the other one being the universally acclaimed orc thrower. <laughs> so yeah, I think they're a funny old thing, obviously, because nobody wants to make dark elves better than they already are. They just want to make the positional a kind of cool positional, not completely shit, don't they? No, the saw is the same stat line. He doesn't have dodge, though. So, his stat line is the same. And, uh... But, yeah. He doesn't have dodge. That's true. It's true that he doesn't have dodge. And, but, you know... What's it called? Kemri positionals don't have thick skull, do they? So, yeah. Org throws and assassins are the two where... They're just, they're just worse. Stat line. Yeah. I mean, if you if you make like assassin seven three four eight stab, they're just blitzers that will sometimes, very very occasionally stab something. No, I think the problem is is the worst in alignment. If they were alignment with stab, you could take them and occasionally stab things. <laughs> like, I mean, if they were 80k, if they were 80k and they were just, uh, they were just an elf that will sometimes stab, they would be all right, wouldn't they? Right, got to. It would be better to get it with him, wouldn't it? But it might be easier to get it with a war dancer. Um. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to get it with a thrower. Where does the blitz come? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Maybe blitz him. On a one die. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, maybe. Yeah, okay, fuck it, go for that. Punch somebody first. Because it can't fail. Oh well. That wasn't great, was it? But it was all. Right. Always use dodge. So, only one more out. Right. 
Yeah, exactly, El Mato, exactly. So you can't just buff them. You can't just. You would have to lose. If you would, ha if you wanted them to be good, you would have to make. You would have to nerf something else or change something else, wouldn't you? So that's it. <laughs> Fucking piece of shit. It's a joke, isn't it? <laughs> Fucking what else? Like, why would you play anything else if you want to win games, really? Yeah, two blitzes. Yeah, all right, fair enough. Yeah, you got to replace. So yeah, I would, I would just have them block with stab. I would just make them seven three four eight block stab. I guess would be a, I guess would be a thing. And then, they would just be better. You know, make them one hundred and ten like the witch elf. Uh. And then, I don't know, not, not as many as you'd think, probably. I actually don't want to level the other catchers. Oh, why is that split in? Letting us blitz a werewolf seems generous, to say the least. Yes, hopefully level the second ward as the end. Indeed, yeah, it is a shame. It is a shame that there's too many too many people who rabidly defend the status quo. So there's no possibility to change that was bad. That was actually that was horrible. Should have put him there and then blitzed that direction. So it'd have kept him based up. That was horrible. All right, lucky, lucky to get the both down. But even then, it would have been better to have done that. All right, go for a two plus pickup. Don't even care if it fails. Get him next to the tree. There's a, there's a dude there. Yeah, maybe that's all right. This is a bit dodgy, but then he'd have to dodge out anyway, so it's not so bad. Maybe that one's a bit dodgy, eh? Maybe put him. there and put him over there. Maybe that makes this a bit dodgy, but at least he'd then be blitzing alone, which is kind of better. Yeah, that's very true as well, Blaine. That's true. Yeah, and exactly, yeah, the Blood Bowl, I mean, the Blood Bowl 2016 changes, apart from the piling on nerf, were universally dissed, weren't they? Johnny just got over his planking face. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, I, 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 I definitely believe that it's hard to get ogres in a good, balanced spot. Yeah, that's a big, <laughs> that's a big uh, condition though, isn't it, Try <laughs> As long as they aren't shit. Seeing as the, most of the changes in, in Blood Bowl 2016 were shit. Is this guy standing up? Can I block him? Yeah. Right, I'll just do that. Don't even know what that one is. And surf him, eh? Is that even worth it though against uh, against uh, undead? Go there first. Yes, you're dead necro. Alright, he goes there, he pushes him to there, then he comes in, blitzes, goes out, and then he goes out, and then there's kind of a screen, so yeah. I think this is okay. Keep the down guy based, it's good, isn't it? And obviously making more blocks is good. Especially when you push them next to rooted trees. And I guess occupy his movement six guy. Seems alright. Everyone gets an old thrower. Yeah, exactly, Spawn of Cthulhu. Yeah, so you can even argue... Exactly, you can even argue... Even though everybody who plays Blood Bowl decries most of the Blood Bowl 2016 changes, you, can even, you, you can't even argue they're bad because exactly what you say, yeah. Jimmy, do you upgrade my donation status by one cent every time I cheer? <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> no, I don't. Sorry, Tony. I'm sorry. I should have. I should have a separate one for. Uh, I should have a separate one for that, shouldn't I? Because that is, it adds up, doesn't it? When you, when you, yeah. I should. I should have a bits one. I should have a bits board, shouldn't I? I should have a bits board. Um, but thank you, Tony. Fascist school of never serves. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's brilliant, isn't it? They'd be broken as fuck. I don't think they'd be broken as fuck at all, Valene. I think that's a very that's a very reasonable change to Olga's. What, do you think I'd be broken as fuck? That's. I really wouldn't call that broken as fuck. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's a thing as well, isn't there? I need to sort out. Kurgo posted all the new stuff for uh, Streamlabs. I need, to, I need to sort out. Right. He's fucked, but could go back to the tree now. Um. Could surf this guy. <laughs> um, Never set the minimum above one bit. <laughs> you will be basically killing my ability to interrupt your stream with nonsense. Yeah, I tried to. I actually tried to change it, and it must not have saved or whatever. But, um... 
Oh, it's a bit dodgy now, this, isn't it? Things have got a bit fucking dodgy. Still, there's no surf on for him, is there? It's just a dodge and run round. One, two, three, four, five, GFI, GFI. Unlikely to be a thing. He can stay where he is, actually. In fact, he could pass it to him then, couldn't he? Get, get a cheeky star player point. And then he could sandwich him. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Don't know, I didn't I didn't mind sandwiching the uh... Yeah, but the thing is, Valenic, they used to have, they used to have goblins. They used to have five goblins and six ogres. So, yeah, ogres would be really annoying, but so what? Why, you know, why shouldn't ogres be as good as wood elves? You know? <laughs> I mean, they wouldn't be OP. <laughs> Not, nothing's OP when you compare it to wood elves or lizard men. Or arguably undead or Amazons. I'll see you man. Yeah, poor Lona. Yeah, goblins. I mean, the problem, the reason they changed ogres, ogres used to have goblins and they weren't OP. But the reason they changed them was there was no point in the o in the goblin team because why would you have um, why would you have why would you ever use a goblin team? when your choice is a goblin team with two trolls or a goblin team with six ogres. Like, it's just... It's ridiculous, isn't it? Kemri used to have four mighty blow. They weren't broken. They weren't. Um, I would just like... I would just like ogres to be better. That's all. I would just like ogres. They've won the blood ball in the fluff. I just don't like how ogres are the worst team. Because they're a snotling team. I just don't like that, personally. Personally, I just don't like that ogres are so fucking bad. And I would just like ogres to not be so fucking bad. That's all. I would like the worst team to be halflings. And the second worst team to be goblins. And I wouldn't like ogres to be absolutely unplayable like they are. I don't think it would overdo it at all, honestly. I really don't think it would. Right, I could surf his wolf. <laughs> or, uh, or score. Well, 3-0 up, so surfing his wolf's more fun, isn't it? Bit of a problem with protecting the ball, isn't it? Three, four, five. He could do it. So I don't care if he gets counter so. I mean, if you had like a kind of testing ground, um, for Blood Ball, where you could try stuff like like that and find out if it actually is too good or whatever. 
would be alright, wouldn't it? Oh, that's not good, is it? I was thinking I could assist. <laughs> but I can't really. Uh, <laughs> because it just would be an easy 2D. So this is still a bit fucked, but I just don't care. Now, I've, I'm obviously way past the point of caring being 3 and up. I should have just done some kind of Wood Elf, War Dancer Potato there. Yeah, that's a, that's a fine argument as well, Shawnee. I wouldn't be averse to removing them. <laughs> Fair enough, Shawnee. You could make a... You could almost do it with custom teams. <laughs> you could almost do it with custom teams. <laughs> you could almost do it with custom teams. Right, let's let's just potato then here. Eh? Probably left it a bit too late now to potato. Um It's not looking good, is it? Not looking good potato wise. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I guess he should have been one square back, shouldn't he? Okay. Oh yeah, you can do testings on Fumble, yeah. I don't know, I, I like that there are limitations on the different races, but it would be good if there was one team that didn't have anything, so that you could try anything. Why did he re-roll that? <laughs> what, what? I'm, I'm lost here. What, why did he re-roll that there? What happened? He'd roll? <laughs> He rolled. <laughs> he rolled a pow, and then re-rolled it to get a pow. I had dodge. <laughs> yeah, I guess there's a reason that this guy is three 0 down, eh? And that's what that's one of the. That's one of the reasons why he's losing three 0 that was really bad, wasn't it? Wow, he could have just two dice the ward answer, not even doing it. Wow. Hard to be proud of any victories in open, isn't it?
I mean, it's just wasting time till till tomorrow, isn't it? Till Champs Ladder's on. I was hoping I'd. I mean, I did learn. I did learn something from the first game, anyway. And maybe this game as well. Because, like, this would. If I'd done whatever the fuck I was doing here, I'd have been punished against a good player. So. So I could go here, right? But Cyanide says, nah, mate, go for it. <laughs> what even is that? What even is that? Nobody knows. I don't, I don't even make the one day there. Yeah, champs ladder, with, champs ladder with no cash tomorrow, yeah. For about a month. And then with playoffs as well. Yeah, it's a, it's a, yeah, that's true, Trey, that's true. Um, oh, I don't know, I, I don't care for this season, I probably won't even play champs this season. <laughs> well, I just play random games, won't try to qualify, just play random games. Um... A statement about Champs Ladder Season 9 was here. Yeah. They have said, Nethios said, the plan is for it to be fixed. So, yeah, Champs will just dick around, play some games. Not, not gonna, not gonna try to qualify. Yeah, okay, I'll go I'll go with Orgs or some bollocks. Some bollocks team for this season. I just don't have to fucking organise games in a in a playoff that isn't for money, you know. The worst thing in Blood Bowl, the absolute worst thing in Blood Bowl is organising games with somebody. And to have to do that without um without money being involved is well crazy, isn't it? Yeah, I'll go for the pass. Why not, eh? No rerolls. Go for a, go for a, go for a pass. He'll get there anyway to do do something. <laughs> yeah. Gobbles versus Norse, yeah, I'm not surprised. That's a that's the fucking brutal 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 matchup. <laughs> exactly VIP Mr. Yemen. It's awful, you know? Like it's just awful. Just awful. <laughs> Pleading with choice, you pretty clear. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> At least you didn't surf the the elf and the Enzo.
Do I have to GFI to get there? Oh, I've got... No, I don't have show feed. <laughs> no. <laughs> Unlucky, buddy. Yeah, that was pretty easy. Going to foul one no now probably. Could have could have surfed that catcher on three dice, couldn't he? That'd be pretty good, Mike. Yeah, I can. Maybe not a yearly one, but maybe a a um, an eight monthly one. Oh, he's, he is going to surf me here, isn't he? Shit. I mean, he could have done it a lot more easily by just going from the angle, but yeah, that was a surf there as well. Yeah, eight monthly. Eight monthly, so that you have eight winners. And then um, you've got eight people in the tournament, haven't you? Nah, Pablo, it's, they hope that the October one fix enough official. But I would still like to have a game in the math if anyone wants to play, because... Fix half the vampire bugs, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> CC rats, yeah. Brutal. Right. MVP on... It was just Max next game, I think, him, wasn't he? Right, there you go. It was alright, wasn't it? Oh, that was his dice, not mine. I was like 44% as elves now. Nah, I made loads of dodges. Absolutely perfect dodges. What you'd expect. Going for it's not so good. Um, take root good. I guess tackle in this environment, but no, it strips the most important one, isn't it? Let's, let's be honest. Strips. Uh, I don't know. Tackle's good though. I'll, I'll go tackle and strip on the other one. I really do like tackle. Just being able to knock people over, you can hurt them, can't you? The strip is so situational. Like, how many times in a match is it going to have an effect, really? Like, obviously, when it does have an effect, it's crucial. But uh, tackle's just so much better, isn't it? I'll go tackle first. So this one's got to score next game. Slowly but surely getting to the uh, getting to the team. 